Daniel-san, either karate you do yes, or karate you do no. Karate you do think so, just like grape. Happy Monday, everyone. Paul Artelli coming back again with another edition of the opening round, that brief weekly audio message where we work together to try to live the life that we want and deserve. Clearly, by my terrible Mr. Miyagi impression, I'm a big fan of The Karate Kid. It is one of my all-time favorite movies, and of course, I'm talking about the original, not the more recent version with Will and Jaden Smith. What I love about that scene from Karate Kid 1 is Mr. Miyagi's message. He's telling Daniel that he needs to go at his dream and his ambition all the way. He's not just there to kind of study karate. He must study karate to the full extent of his abilities. This movie had such a huge impact on my life. It was what brought me out of my shell and got me involved in the martial arts, which then led to me getting involved in football because I was building up that kind of confidence. That movie was also a little bit misleading. I went through my life wanting a Mr. Miyagi type mentor. Someone who was funny and someone that understood me and that challenged me but taught me so much about myself and life. That didn't really happen the way I thought it did. I found quite often in life you don't find that one Mr. Miyagi, that person that takes you under their wings. I found that you quite often find several mini Miyagis, different types of mentors who give you advice and guidance in different situations and for different things and aspects of your life. That's okay. If you can find that one mentor who tells you everything you need to know about your business or your life or business and life, fantastic. Please let me know how you did it or you're just extremely lucky and I hope you count your blessings. But for the rest of us, it's important that we understand in our journey to success, we must have mentors. Last week in episode one, I asked you, what's the life you want to live? And that's valid. We have to reflect on that. To create that revolution, we have to know where we're going to go. We have to know what that radical life change is. Here's the part I left out last week on purpose, because I wanted you to look inside of yourself before you start looking to the outside. You don't have to do it alone. Your challenge moving forward is to assemble a mentor team. That's right. Find people who have done what you've done, people that have been successful, that have that same life experience, and I want you to start reaching out to them. Some of you are saying, well, Paul, that's really hard. I might idolize someone that's very famous, and I don't think I can get in contact with them. Well, we've all heard of the game Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon can be connected to about any movie, any movie star through Six Degrees. Well, that's life. You can be connected to anybody in life through Six Degrees degrees, three, six types of introductions. For example, if I wanted to be get in contact with the Pope, I could possibly do that, knowing that I have some friends that are celebrities and uh, an aunt that works in the Vatican. I have access to that. That also would mean with some of my friends that have worked in the entertainment industry, I would have access to celebrities. For some of my mentors in the speaking business, I might have access to some speaking mentors, some very famous people. You have to start thinking like that. Who do you know that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone? Throughout this journey, you're going to need a guidance committee, a group of mentors that help you and give you advice. And they might not always be with you. They're not going to be on the phone with you at 2 a.m. giving you advice on every situation. But you can go to them from time to time or at selected intervals and they will give you that advice and you can learn from them. So it's great to read books and it's great to research. And sometimes the greatest mentors we have are people we've never met. One of my greatest mentors is Jim Abbott, one-headed pitcher for the California Angels and the New York Yankees. I've never met Jim, but his books and his story growing up inspired me to go out and play sports and to not care what people thought. As I went through my journey, I realized I need people too, real people, that give me advice, that can help guide me, that have had similar experiences or can navigate systems. And so coaches and, and friends and colleagues eventually became my mentors, offered me tidbits of advice and were people I could go to and still go to in a lot of cases. So just like everything else, assemble your mentor team. That's your challenge this week. If you go to www.paulartale.com, that's www.p-a-u-l-a-r-t-a-l-e, you'll find your assignment for this week. And it's very simple. Identify up to five mentors. You have to have at least three and reach out to them or reach out to people that 
know them. That's it. That's all you got to do. Start the connection. And when you're asking them, don't you don't have to ask them to be on a committee. This is not a formalized system. I know I'm using some of those words. All you got to do is start asking them for advice. What's the one question that's burning? What's the one piece of knowledge you need right now? I remember when I was considering becoming an athletic director at a university, I had no idea what that process was like or what I needed to do. I was coaching football and I was working in a residence hall and I was doing all these different jobs. And so I just cold emailed a few of them and all I asked was, what advice do you have for me? My name is Paul. I'm coaching. I'm working in student affairs. I'm thinking about coming, becoming an athletic director. What can you tell me? And I got responses. And they guided me in my career. And in that case, it was only for a very, very brief period of time. But the guidance and the advice and the insight I got from those mentors helped put me where I'm at today. They helped lead me towards my doctorate degree. They led me to speaking. They led me to looking at athletics from a different point of view than just an athletic director or even a coach. Assemble your team of mentors. Start creating them. Start building relationships. And heck, if you know people closely, start using it. Sometimes the greatest resources, quite often the greatest resources, are right at our fingertips close to us. So whether they are next to us or three countries away, just know that there are ways to get to people. Whether it's through social media or contacts, you can get in touch with just about anybody you want to get some advice. And that advice quite often leads to a relationship. And that relationship is what's going to enrich you and help you on your journey. Get your homework done, and I'll see you next week on The Opening Round.